Well, you may not know, but this is Colon Cancer Awareness Month, and there are many issues that come up when people are battling this type of cancer. Tonight, 11 News reporter Lisa Robinson introduces us to a woman who's in the fight of her life, but still being positive, trying to inspire others, and giving support where she once found none. Nice. Gorgeous. Perfect. 41 year old Trina Isaacs is on a photo shoot for the Life Savers Project. Photographer Milton Lawrence started the web series to give cancer survivors and patients a chance to share their stories. I love fashion. I love to look nice. I love makeup. I love hair. Anything that comes with creativity, it's a part of me. It's touching people from all over the world. Trina hopes to inspire others. I did this photo shoot because I wanted to encourage and inspire other women and men to still believe in being beautiful, to still believe that in spite of having a colostomy, which I have one, that you're still beautiful. And that's why she's bravely showing the world what her colostomy bag looks like, bearing her middle, hoping to take the mystery out of it. In April of 2012, Trina was diagnosed with stage three colon cancer. Since then, she's undergone chemotherapy, radiation, and several operations. One of them, a high peck surgery that took 12 hours. She removed anything in my abdomen or that area where my cancer lied, and she took out. Um, I had a full hysterectomy. Um, my spleen was taken out. Um, my abdomen was scraped of any tumors or scar tissue that could ultimately affect me in the long run. 105 degree chemo was put into her abdomen, and she was rocked back and forth. It was during that surgery. Trina ended up with a colostomy, and that was a life changer. I have what is called a stoma, and it instead of me using the bathroom from my bottom, I use it's here on my stomach, and it I um, attach a bag to it, and that's how I remove my waste. Trina says she was left with many questions about living with a colostomy, but found early on there were few places she could turn for support. It's such like a secret society. And nobody knows. It's like aliens walking around. There's probably millions of people walking around just Baltimore in itself with colostomies, and I feel like there's no support. Finally, she found some women on Facebook who also had ostomies. They ultimately formed a group called Osto Beauties. The message they hope to send is twofold. I'm still beautiful, and this colostomy is just a small part of who I am. It doesn't define me. We're here. We're here to support you, and it's okay. Trina says what keeps her going is her 13-year-old son. She says she fights for him, but also prepares him in case she's not around. I'm always telling my son, don't forget when you um, grow up, you hold a woman's hand, you, um, you walk on the outside of the curb. You, it's okay to tell her that you love her. Trina is still undergoing more treatments as the cancer has now moved to her liver. It's perfect. Don't move. She says she may have cancer, but it doesn't have her. Lisa Robinson, WBAL, TV 11 News. Good mom and a remarkable woman. Trina now has stage four metastatic colon cancer. And other than absences to recover from surgery, she has continued to work and care for her son throughout her illness. If you'd like to connect to her Osteo Beauty's page, you can go to WBALTV.com, click on Medical Alert. There's also much more information on Lifesavers, including the video that Trina did for that project.